If you're looking for wonderful new ways to show your love for someone, may I suggest this? They're lentils. What? What? You're expecting white chocolate or something? No, no, they're lentils. They're much better. These legumes are great for your heart, which means they're a wonderful gift for your special someone. Lentils contain no cholesterol like all plant foods, and all of the fiber in lentils actually keeps you regular and helps stabilize your blood sugar. Plus, you can use lentils instead of meat. So, there you have it, a healthy heart for your sweetheart. And today, a fantastic recipe by Chef MD approved, fragrant and easy Indian lentil and butternut squash stew. I'll catch up with you later in the kitchen. Tired of the same humdrum meals? Today, I've got a recipe with robust exotic flavors and cholesterol lowering fibers, my fragrant and easy one pot Indian lentil and butternut squash stew. It's easy to make, it's inexpensive, and it actually is low in calories and delicious. It starts with this beautiful Swiss chard, which I've already chopped up into bite-sized pieces. This is an easy one pot stew. You put everything in one pot, watch. Pull a pot off the stove and in go the Swiss chard which is a cruciferous vegetable. When it blooms, it forms a cross. It protects you from cancer. It's a little chewy, and so we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes in the stew all together at once. In goes the butternut squash, already cubed and bite-sized. Then this beautiful organic vegetable broth, just three cups of it. In then goes a little bit of garam masala a wonderful spice mix you might not have heard of, but it's almost the national spice mix of India. Masala just means spice mixture, and it's a little bit spicy. It has some black pepper in it. It has some cardamom in it. It's wonderful, great on fish, traditional on cauliflower. Look for it in the spice section. Then, of course, our food is medicine ingredient, the lentils. Lentils are a legume. Anything that comes in a pod is a legume. They're high in protein, high in fiber, now, some diced tomatoes for sweetness. Right in. You put this on the stove, you bring it to a boil, you let it simmer until the lentils and squash are tender, and you're done. This is one that I've already done. When you ladle this out, you're gonna see that the Swiss chard has reduced in size, the lentils are fully cooked, and the butternut squash is on top, and you will get the magic aromas of India wafting towards your nose, and you won't realize that this whole recipe is actually slow release carbs and high protein. And to make it even higher, we're going to add a little bit of yogurt that I'm going to grate some fresh ginger into. It gives the yogurt a nice spicy kick right on top. And then pumpkin seeds, which have been toasted with just a touch of chutney. Now chutney, many people make with high fructose corn syrup, so look for one without it. You have the healthy probiotics in the yogurt, you have a little bit of sweetness, and you have a fragrant Indian butternut squash stew that you're gonna want to keep to the next day and it will taste even better. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there.